hi, uh, Becky here again. I'm here to show you the sleep cap. So um, if you're anything like me and you um, don't have any hair or very little hair, um, what you're going to experience quite a bit, as I do, particularly um, lately, is it is freezing at night. Um, you do lose your heat from the top of your head and when you don't have much hair you really notice the difference um, in how warm you are. I mean the amount of times I've spent winter's evenings completely under the covers because I'm absolutely freezing. Now uh, sleep caps are a great solution to that, they just give that extra bit of layering on the head. Um, the other thing they do is it's a natural material so you're not um, overheating in them. You could be also like me again who uh, goes to sleep freezing and shivering but sweats at night as well um, and these caps will help prevent it so because it's a natural material it is warming in the winter, uh, cooling for the summer. The other useful thing with the sleep cap is um, some women opt to wear hair and I do myself now and then um, as a semi-permanent option but sometimes you don't want to and actually just going to bed with no hair. Um, you feel, if I'm honest, a bit vulnerable. And I've had times when I've gone to bed um, not wearing anything. Not that it's a problem for me or my family, um, but if a front doorbell goes or something, um, you don't want to be rushing around trying to uh, grab for a wig to be able to go to the front door. Um, if you've got people staying over, um, you might not want to wear a wig in the evening. You might want to put your pajamas on, get your dressing gowns on, uh, and get comfortable and a wig cap is just a way of just having that bit of extra warmth, bit of extra security and protection um, and again they're just a useful thing to have. They're not unattractive, they've got this kind of gathered effect, um, they come in different colours uh, and again I, I find them a really useful uh, thing just to have. 